Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and this video is an additional video to the series of watch once and never forget it is a mnemonic uh, based videos or rather I call it a series of three videos on my channel. This is an additional video on the topic of as you can see on your screen hard blocks. So basically hard blocks are of first degree, second degree, third degree hard block. And when you talk about different competitive exams like FMG, NEET, PG, INI set, questions based on these hard block ECGs comes uh, like uh, very commonly. I guess you guys already have an idea what is the pathophysio behind these hard blocks. So the main problem that student face is to remember the type of ECG and type of you know uh, changes in the ECG and correlating them with the perfect order of Mobitz type 1 and type 2 you know uh, match matching um, match making those uh, ECGs with the disease. So let's start well, if we'll talk about second degree there is Mobits type 1 Mobits type 2 and third degree is also known as complete heart block okay now let's proceed with the story of the mnemonic so obviously we are talking about heart blocks so the story will be obviously love story so let's start okay we all know the basic you know order of an ECG so here it will be P and here it will be Q R and S and this is called QRS complex that you are seeing here and I'm going to call this whole complex as Q just for the sake of mnemonic so don't get confused guys so P is <coughs> the person P is a person he is a guy is a guy in a classroom okay and Q is a girl she's the queen of the story obviously in the same classroom okay so now let's start so the ECG you are watching on your screen right now is first degree heart block I will not explain the concepts behind these heart blocks right now let me complete the story part first the mnemonic part first and then later I will explain the pathophysio and the concept behind this ECG changes all right so have patience and listen to this romantic story so in any relationship if we will talk about the first degree or the first stage of a relationship it starts with a contact with a communication between a boy and a girl this is our guy the p1 he is the boy p and here is the girl q so when you like someone what you try to do at first you try to show them some uh, you know affection you try to give them attention you know you just trying to grab their attention as well so is story mein kya ho p p hamesha class mein time pe aa jata hai jaldi aa jata hai and simultaneously q after comes like after about 5 minutes so for example p is reaching at the class at 8 am and q is reaching at 8.05 so the boy is reaching at 8 a.m. and the girl is reaching at 8 o'clock and 5 minutes so this is this is their you know kind of uh, uh, discipline in the classroom right now and uh, for each other okay so when the next day comes again they come at same time you know same five minute distance five minute gap rather again the boy will come at time the girl will come at time same five minute gap five minute gap five minute gap so yaar naya naya affection hai naya naya pyar hua hai to dono na saath saath zyada time nahi lagate pehle ladka jata hai 5 minute baad hi ladki aa jati hai zyada time nahi lagate aur koi chutti bhi nahi le raha hai proper attendance 100% attendance hai sirf is karan se to full attendance hai aur dono matlab saath saath bhi reh rahe hain so this is the first degree First degree heart block abhi karte hain achche se theek hai metaphorical. Now the one you are looking at your screen is second degree heart block. Okay, so second degree heart block. Iska kya scene hai ab? ab अब देखो यार दोनों में प्यार हो गया affection हो गया first degree में. But अब second stage क्या है किसी भी relationship का? Fights, arguments, differences. So in this case as well there will be fights, differences. Arguments. Let's see how. Hey, G, the boy here, P. See, just as it was coming at the time, now it's coming at the time. Now it's coming quickly. Before it was five minutes, now it's not five minutes. Look how fast it's coming. So he's very early. 
okay so the distance between these two is very less but what happens is when a uh, when a girl commits in a relationship ki ladki ne pehle to bhav khaya lekin ab ladki maan gayi hai to hota kya hai hota nahi hai lekin story mein ho raha hai ab ladke ka time hai bhav khane ka ab bhav khane ka time aa raha hai to bhav khane ka time kaise aa raha hai ab dekho ab ye yahan pe pahuncha time pe ab ye dekho time badh gaya now this gap is increasing theek hai ये क्या ये लड़का तो कहीं पता है टाइम वगैरह फ्रेंड्स के साथ ही इज इंजॉइंग विद हिज फ्रेंड्स एंड देन कमिंग टू द क्लास सो देखिए टाइम बढ़ रहा है धीरे धीरे और अब और टाइम बढ़ गया इवन मोर टाइम बढ़ गया अब हुआ क्या बैकग्राउंड में ये तो लड़के की कहानी थी लेट्स हेयर द गर्ल पार्ट नाउ द क्यू हेयर शी वॉज वेरी हैप्पी एट फर्स्ट ओके ही इज कमिंग अर्ली एंड दे आर क्लोज क्लोज नाउ एट फर्स्ट डे शी वॉज लाइक यार ये लेट क्यों हो रहा है गैप क्यों हो रहा है इतना आई डोंट लाइक दिस डिफरेंस दिस डिस्टेंस बिटवीन अस ये सब सुनाने के बाद होता क्या अगले दिन अगले दिन लड़का और लेट हो जाता है नाउ द नेक्स्ट डे द पी इज इवन मोर लेट और मोर फार फ्रॉम द गर्ल नाउ शी गेट्स मैड नाउ द क्यू गेट्स क्यू गेट्स मैड अब जब मैड होगा तो होगा क्या पी आ गया वापस अपने टाइम पे जैसे आ रहा था चिल एकदम कोई फर्क नहीं पड़ रहा है इसको वो वेदर शी इज एंग्री और सैड ही इज नॉट केयरिंग मच अबाउट दिस गर्ल बट वट हैपन्ड इज नेक्स्ट डे वेन द बॉय अराइव द गर्ल डिडेंट कम अरे यार ये परेशान हो गया ये क्यों नहीं आई क्योंकि शी वॉज एंग्री सो शी टुक अ हॉलीडे कि लेट द बॉय वेट लेट द बॉय कम आई डोंट केयर वेन एवर ही कम्स आई एम टेकिंग हॉलीडे आई एम हैविंग माई टाइम ऑफ पीस ओके सो शी डिडेंट कम बट द बॉय गॉट यू नो बॉय रियलाइज लाइक आई हैव यार मेस्ट अप दिस सिचुएशन नाउ आई हैव टू मेक अप फॉर इट सो वट वट ही डज इज नेक्स्ट टाइम शी वॉज नॉट वेन शी वॉज नॉट हेयर वट ही डिड नेक्स्ट टाइम ही केम अर्ली जस्ट बिफोर द गर्ल अराइव ही केम अर्ली ठीक है गलतियों से सीखता है इंसान तो गलतियों से सीख के यहाँ पे जल्दी पहुँच गया बट क्या करें इंसान की फितरत ऐसी है कि द गर्ल इज़ हैप्पी द बॉय केम अर्लियर दिस टाइम ओके द सो शी इज़ थिंकिंग द बॉय माइट हैव लर्न समथिंग फ्रॉम माय हॉलीडे नाउ व्हाट हैपेंड इज so this this uh, ecg you are watching is this is a repetitive ecg in, in all of these ecgs so what happens is as soon as this ends this order starts again okay so it's uh, what happened is the boy was on time next time <coughs> next week the boy was on time again when he realized okay, the girl is happy now she again took her for granted and the distance started to increase and again the girl took holiday and this cycle this toxic cycle continues okay so this was the type 1 of uh, second degree heart block and it is also known as wenki backs okay so wenki back the boy will come back again on time comes back again on time because he was late earlier so comes back Okay, so now what happens is now let's go to the stage two of this uh, mobits. Happen is as you can see, right on time, right on time, right on time, right on time. But the girl is missing now. Now what happened? What is the what is the story behind? Now what happened is when the boy was you know getting late and late, not giving the attention to the girl, and she took several holidays. Now in this stage. the girl is not giving a damn about the guy anymore she is not even angry she doesn't care what the boy does you know ek stage aisa aa jata hai jab ladki ko fir farak nahi padta hai ki tum mere pe effort dalo nahi dalo uh, she had already made up her mind and she is not giving a damn about this guy his feelings his efforts moving on <coughs> so what happened is तो पिछली स्टेज में बॉय सब सीख गया था ही हैड लर्न कि अब ये नहीं मेरे को पंचुअल रहना है नाउ अब वो पंचुअल है बट अब गर्ल को ही इंटरेस्ट नहीं है नो इंटरेस्ट ओके नो इंटरेस्ट सो दिस इज टॉक्सिक स्टेज नंबर टू ऑफ रिलेशनशिप नाउ ये था मोविट्स वन एंड मोविट्स टू अब आगे चलते हैं टू इज टू वन ब्लॉक आई विल एक्सप्लेन लेटर बट फोर टू इज टू वन लेट्स गो टू थर्ड डिग्री नाउ थर्ड डिग्री इज टोटल ब्रेकअप नाउ इवन द गाय डजेंट केयर वट एवर द गर्ल डज आई एम नॉट गोइंग टू बी पंचुअल आई एम मेकिंग माई ओन रूल्स नाउ आई विल फॉलो माई ओन रूल्स सिमिलरली द गर्ल इज सेंग वट एवर डूड आई डोंट केयर आई एम लिविंग माई ओन लाइफ आई एम हैप्पी इन माई लाइफ सो हाउ डज दैट यू नो टर्नस आउट टू बी लेट सी सो हेयर यू कैन सी हेयर इज द पी 
again here is the P now the Q is here the Q is here but the Q is now widened and missing then again widened then missing this is what happens in a relationship later the queen is now you know trying to get attention from other guys okay the queen is trying to get attention from other guys but the boy is there as uh, there only he is not widened he is just there that small uh, space that he has taken in the class he he is sitting on that space only but he is regular in class now okay if you will measure the distance the distance is same among these okay but the queen is coming very uh, i would say seldom in the class and she is there is no relation between p and q okay so p is here missing q p is here missing uh, no q is here but widened so you have to remember wide q making association with others and um, no relations between these two no order now let's get back to this twist to one block so what is twist to one block it is basically a kind of uh, some call it uh, second degree hot block only but what is the main difference here is see the p wave is here the q is here again the p is here no q okay then p is here q is here p is here no q so P is here, Q is here. Again, this will repeat no Q. So what is happening is, P is getting Q, P is not getting Q. P is getting Q, P is not getting Q. So this is called two is to one ECG, two is to one hard block. Why two is to one? In a segment, you can see one P, two P, but only one Q because this Q is missing. Okay, if you look at this part. It is also called alternative drop of the QRS complex. So in this segment, you can see 1P, 2P. Oh, wait, 1P, 2P. 1Q, no Q. That's why 2 is to 1, P is to QRS complex. Okay, so this is that. Now let's get back to the concept behind. So this is the basic picture of impulse transfer SA, AV and then bundle of his as it sounds hard block so hard block there will be blocks somewhere somewhere different locations depending on what kind of hard block it is is it first degree second degree mobits one two or third degree so what is the location for the first degree one this is first degree let me write it here okay so this is the general uh, network of the impulse now what happens is as it sounds it's a block so in block there will be block at certain locations depending on the type of hard block so in this case in first degree hard block the block is here between or in the network between SA node and AV node so th when the problem is between not in SA neither in AV I am saying the network between SA and AV so what will happen is the impulse that is going from SA to AV will get slower or reach late to AV resulting in prolonged PR interval how will you know it is prolonged as I said in the story the guy is coming at 8 p.m. Uh, 8 a.m. and the girl is coming at 805 so when the distance this is the PR segment wait I'll show you this is this line will be one line and this will be the other now you have to count the number of small boxes within uh, within this line one two three four five six so six boxes are there whenever there are more than five small boxes we consider it as prolonged prolonged PR so what is happening here here we can first first of all we can diagnose it's a prolonged PR then then we can see in subsequent uh, leads or subsequently the PR is consistent which is prolonged so that's why we can call it a first degree hard block so that is the definition of first degree hard block moving on to next where is the block in the Mobitz type 1 the block is here 
over the AV, which is not complete block, which is a partial hindrance or some infiltrations you can remember as uh, that. There are some infiltrations in the AV node. So when the impulse is going from SA to AV, there is no prolongation, no slow. You can see it is earlier, it's not slow. So you can see when the impulse is going from SA to AV, first it will not be that slower but later when more more and more impulse will come because here it is taking time to go forward it will kind of you know start to accumulate and go f further slowly so that is why what is happening is first the PR was normal but later it kept on increasing increasing which eventually it could not compensate the AV could not compensate or uh, send the signal forward so which eventually led to a drop in the QRS complex now let's go back to let's go to Mobits type 2 so let me make the network now where is the issue in this case the block is after AV node okay so after AV node so from SA to AV between SA and AV no issue even over the AV no issue when there is no issue from SA to AV you can see the PR is normal at the beginning but later as well you can see it's normal okay the PR segment is not prolonged because SA to AV is normal even over the AV node it is normal uh, you know conduction of the impulse so there is no delay unlike what happened in Mobits type 1 but <coughs> what happens is since the block is over this uh, a bundle of his the drop you can see the drop here okay so there is drop of the QRS complex okay now about the two is to one is also same uh, some text say there is block in bundle of his some say there can be drop in uh, Purkinje fiber block now going forward to complete hard block this is bundle of his okay now here the block is over the AV the AV is not even you know functioning I'm not talking about the hindrance or the minor blockage is there in the conduction but the AV is not functioning so what happens is SA has it o its own impulse so it is working on atria or atrial contractions and bundle of his has its own uh, you know impulse generation which is around 40 beats per minute so it's working on ventricles that's why you can see uh, the PP P P if you will calculate the distance between PP which is uh, which tells us the dis uh, the time difference between each atrial contraction and RR interval if you will talk about RR interval which in this case will be from here to here in normal cases the PP is equal to RR interval but not in this case because RR is all because of the bundle of his and PP has been controlled by the SA node that's why there is a difference and there is a dissociation this was the brief introduction and brief concept about this so I guess uh, I made sense I hope you guys learned something and thank you very much for listening to this uh, video and do share this with your friends because it will help them as well and it's all about helping people this profession is all about helping people and so keep hammering guys and do like this video and comment down if you have any doubts or any questions if I'm able to help I'll help you guys for sure thank you very much keep studying and I'll see you in the next one bye bye